I don't know who needs to hear this, but a lot of people are confused when it comes to this. Listen to me. You don't miss people who hurt you. You know what you actually miss? You miss the memories you made with that person. You miss the idea of that person. Because as humans, sometimes we're weak and we decide to forget all the pain someone put us through. And we just focus on the good things we miss about that person and that's where we mess up. Go make new memories with someone better. With someone who puts a smile on your face, not tears in your eyes. Remember who you are and remember what you're worth. Remember why you walked away in the first place. Just keep moving forward. Never look back because you'll get your blessings. They'll get their karma. No, no woman is okay with this. We don't forget. We wait. And then when you least expect it, we make you pay. Looking at me like you want my man. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Here are some red flags that you really need to pay attention to when you get into a relationship. If he met you a certain way and now he's telling you to dress different, that's a red flag. Guys telling you to not dress sexy anymore when they met you that way is a huge sign of insecurity. If you feel the need to constantly prove your worth to this person and prove to them that you're loyal, that you're good enough, let him go. He's not worth it. If he starts controlling your social media, controlling your phone, checking everything and blocking every guy on your phone, He's toxic. Don't even think about doing that back to him. Just walk out of the relationship because it's just going to get worse and worse. If you feel so much stress to the point where you feel like you can't even be your own self anymore and you can't sleep anymore, that's how you know his energy is bothering your soul. Pay really close attention to how he treats his own mom. If he can't even respect his own mom, imagine how he's going to treat you. <laughs> I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Yeah. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Yeah. Put it on and make him put 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 it. No, they show my mind. Yo se lo creo porque 
por lo que veo Romper la disco con ese meneo y yo se lo creo Ojalá me dé un chance, aunque sé que ya no creen romance, baby Porque por... Here's some advice for all the girls who sometimes see a really beautiful girl on their Instagram or their TikTok and like start to feel a little bit insecure. We all been there, so it's normal. But instead of commenting something rude and negative to put that person down and make yourself feel better, try this. Remind yourself that we all have someone out there for us. And I've proved this myself because I've been rejected before and it's normal, it's part of life. It's nothing to be embarrassed about because we all have a taste, we all have a type, like there's guys who find my body disgusting, there's guys who find my body attractive, and that's normal. There's guys who like girls with really big butts and big boobs, and then there's guys who like girls with nothing at all. And we're all beautiful in our own way, so there's no reason to put others down or feel insecure, because no matter how ugly we feel, there's always going to be someone that finds us attractive and that wants to marry us. A mí la verdad no me preocupa si hablas bien o hablas mal de mí. Al fin y al cabo la que debería estar preocupada eres tú, querida. Porque a ti te toca hablar de mí. Porque es que si hablas de ti a nadie le importa. Vamos a jugar a la piña y el coco. Tú no me hablas ni yo tampoco. Y que vive el orgullo. I let you finish on a daddy says tsunami Bust down on your future baby mommy uh, Fucking in the whip top off Do a quick dick drop off Get your old bitches out talk I ain't never seen it bounce off